Okay, so um, as you know, Kim uh, Davis refused to give uh, grant uh, uh, marriage licenses. Do you believe that uh, it's called religious freedom, but really it's just an individual's personal beliefs about what they think is right and wrong should trump the Supreme Court, the law of the land, the U.S. Constitution? If it's an immoral law. If it's an immoral law, how do you know? Well, this is a, a point I've been seeking to drive home this evening. There must be a higher law. You must believe in a law giver for there to be absolute moral right and wrong versus, ladies and gentlemen, where uh, uh, there is a, a modern trend um, towards uh, adhering to the cultural zeitgeist. This is the, the, the German word which means the spirit of the age. And it sounds really good and it sounds really sexy until you begin to think about um, what was the cultural zeitgeist on the question of slavery in 1860 America? It was pro-slavery. What was the cultural zeitgeist on the so-called Jewish question in 1933 Germany? It was anti-Semitic. Adhering to the cultural zeitgeist is no way to determine ultimate right and wrong. There must be absolute laws if we are to have any uh, 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 recourse uh, when we find ourselves up against those laws that we find oppressive.